Trixie or should I better say Trixie Chen to get you into the right mood for today's video. I want to talk to you about German words with the suffix Chen. As you may know, Chen can be added to almost every word. It's a German diminutive, meaning that attached to a neutral noun, it turns that noun into a smaller, cuter version of itself. Let's take die Maus, for example. Just like that, it's a terrifying creature. But if you attach Chen, it becomes das Mäuschen, which is a tiny, adorable kind of mouse. However, since you can cutify almost every German word like that, mentioning all of them would turn this into a long ass video. So I decided to dedicate this episode to German Chen words that exist naturally. German words ending in Chen that don't have a non-cute counterpart. Das Mädchen, for example, the girl. Now there are definitely girls out there that are not cute. Like my three-year-old daughter when she throws a tantrum because I gave her the yellow spoon for her yogurt instead of the pink one. In situations like these, I'd love to call her die Made instead of das Mädchen, but that's not quite the same thing. In fact, Made means maggot. Oh, you take the yellow spoon today, maggot. Parenting level over 9,000. Now that you know which kind of words this video is going to deal with, let's stick with the topic of babies and kids. If mothers don't breastfeed, babies are often fed with formula from a bottle. And even though the word die Flasche, the bottle exists, a baby bottle is usually referred to as das Fläschchen, the little bottle. At least when you want to differentiate between baby food and other things that come in bottles. Schatz? Hast du mir eine Flasche für das Baby? Ja, äh, Bier oder Wodka? Ich meine ein Fläschchen, Schatz. Fläschchen. Milch. See, a chen can make a big difference here. Same applies to the bib. A few people may call this der Latz, but it's way more common to say das Lätzchen. I would say. Oh, this is really tight. That's what he said. After feeding your baby with das Fläschchen and roughly 80% of food ending up on das Lätzchen, it's time for... All the non-parents must be like... But the parents know the burp, which has a very funny and a bit weird German name if we talk about a baby doing it. It's das Bäuerchen, literally meaning the little farmer. I mean, just imagine this. Your baby burps and a small farmer climbs out of its mouth. <coughs> Howdy, little fella. Duh. Anyway, if something goes in, that means that something has to come out later. So last word, das Töpfchen. Same as in English, where the pot becomes potty, in German, der Topf becomes das Töpfchen. When babies grow older, they start eating puree and finger food. Fruit and vegetables such as carrot sticks, for example. I remember that as a kid, I loved eating radish. And I'm talking about these small pink balls with the white root in particular. Because they have a very special name in German that I find super cute. Let me introduce you to das Radieschen. Das Radieschen, die Radieschen. And I especially like this name because my mom used to ask, Trixi, möchtest du ein Paradieschen? Which also sounds like Paradieschen, a little paradise. And I thought, sure, I could use a little paradise. If not a big one, I'm gonna take the small one. You take what you get. Then there is das Brötchen, a bread roll that Germans usually eat for breakfast. Sure, the word das Brot also exists, but das Brötchen isn't just a smaller slice of bread. See, this is das Brot and this is das Brötchen. If you're not vegan or vegetarian, you'll eat meat and fish sometimes. While beef is Rind and pork is Schwein, chicken can be referred to in different ways in German. You may hear Huhn for it, but it's also common to say Hühnchen or Hähnchen. So little chicken or little... little cock. <laughs> so if Germans say Ich esse gerne Hähnchen, that literally translates to I like eating Little cock? Yes. Well, one reason more to go veggie, huh? But yeah, for some reason, we make chicken meat sound cute. And pretty much the same applies to fish sticks. So do you like eating fish sticks? Random question, but yeah, sometimes. You like putting them in your mouth? Uh, yes, because that's how eating works, I suppose. So what are you, Trixie? A gay fish? Ugh, I should have seen it coming. Anyway, fish sticks 
are called Fischstäbchen in German. The word Fischstab doesn't exist. And in case you wonder, yes, it's the same thing with chopsticks. They should be called Zerhackstäbe in German, right? But ne, it's die Stäbchen. Simply the little sticks. Let's talk about animals now, starting with a very small one. 50 to 330 micrometers according to Wikipedia. The paramecium. Don't worry if that doesn't ring a bell, you can google it later. I just want to share its cute German name with you. In German, a paramecium is called das Pantoffeltierchen. With die Pantoffel meaning the slipper. You know, the kind of shoe that you wear at home on a cozy Sunday. So all in all, its name is Little Slipper Animal. Another very tiny creature is this one. An insect called silverfish or fish moth in English. You may have encountered one in your bathroom or basement already, because they like a dark and humid environment. In German, its name is das Silberfischchen. So not only silverfish, but little silverfish. Just slightly bigger, das Heimchen, aka die Grille, which is a cricket. If you drop the Chen, you end up with das Heim, meaning the home. So one Chen turns an insect the size of a thimble into a house. Enough with insects, you say? So what about a bird, let's say a robin? A robin is das Rotkehlchen in German, literally meaning little red throat. Or do you prefer water over air? Because Germans call a seahorse das Seepferdchen. Then there are several rodents with names ending in chen. And let's be honest, it makes a lot of sense, since all of them are extremely cute. Das Frettchen, for example, a ferret. Or das Meerschweinchen a guinea pig. Who hasn't heard of das Eichhörnchen, the squirrel? And last but not least, das Kaninchen, the rabbit. So if you subscribe to this channel and become a rabbit, ein Kaninchen, German language says you are officially cute. But not only animals have cute names in German, some flowers also do. But since there are so many, I'm only gonna list a few. For example, das Pet. Beautiful flower. Darling, I brought you pears today. Or thank you, pears are my favorite flowers. But since there are so many, I'm only going to list a few. For example, das Stiefmütterchen, a pansy. Yes, we call pansies little stepmothers. Another one is das Feilchen, a violet, which can also be a slang word for a black eye. And a very adorable one, a snowdrop, das Schneeglöckchen literally meaning little snow bell. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Now, for some reason, the characters in German fairy tales often have hen names, especially the females. Actually, the word for fairy tale is one as well, das Märchen. But, you know, there are Schneewittchen, Snow White, Dornröschen, the Sleeping Beauty, Rotkäppchen, Little Red Hood, Däumelinchen, Thumelina. Quite striking, huh? The extra Chen made the girls in these fairy tales appear innocent, cute and pretty, I suppose. One last category of words for you. Creative as I am, I call it miscellaneous, random Chen words. Everything else. For example, a male dog owner is called das Herrchen, a female dog owner das Frauchen. So in German, they are the dog's little mister or a little woman, little missus. If you are small like me and you own a greyhound, that title might be accurate. But if it's like a Yorkshire Terrier or a Chihuahua, little missus or a little mister is a funny sounding expression for the human being owning it, right? Also, if an animal is male, we call it das Männchen. A female is das Weibchen. Again, little man, little woman. Talking about small rodents, insects, birds, fine. But what about huge animals, such as an elephant, a blue whale, or a Tyrannosaurus rex? Das T-Rex Mädchen mag es seine Gegner zu zerfleischen und mit seinen Rasiermesser scharfen Zähnen zu zerfetzen. But back to dogs. If German Herrchen and Frauchen teach their dogs to give them the paw, they usually use the command Pfötchen, little paw. And once again, there is Männchen, when they want the dog to beg. While it's lifting the paws, it looks like a small man standing. Männchen. Trick sie aus. <clears throat> and I have yet another word for you containing Männchen. Das Ampelmännchen. That little walking figure on pedestrian traffic lights, indicating that it's safe to cross the road. 
If you cross a red light in Germany and you get caught, you're gonna have to pay a fee of 5 euros. If you commit a parking violation, on the other hand, it's likely that you find a parking violation ticket on your windshield, which is often jokingly referred to as das Knöllchen. The money you'll have to pay would have been better invested in das Schnäppchen, a bargain. And two more, the parcel is das Päckchen and the earlobe is das Ohrläppchen. So same as in English, but cuter. An extra chen for the extra cuteness. Ohrläppchen, not Ohrlappen. Oh, here habe ich was verschüttet. Ach, warte, ich hol ein Ohrlappen. By the way, have you seen me doing this? during the video. This gesture means that you are drawing quotation marks into the air. In German, they are called die Anführungszeichen, but there's also a cute slang name for them. Die Gänsefüßchen, little geese feet. And it's true, the symbol does look a bit like a goose's footprints. So I guess what this video teaches us is that the German language isn't only descriptive and creative. From today on, you can add another word to the list. Cute. Did you know all the words that I presented? Which one was your favorite and do you know more? I know this was a very long episode, but I hope that you had fun anyway and that you learned something new. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up because that would make me really, really happy. You can follow me on Twitterchen, Instagramchen or Facebookchen. And here is another videochen that you should definitely check out. Subscribe to my Kanilchen and if you want to support my channel even a bit more, you can also find me on Patreon. I would really appreciate your helpchen. Now wish you all a wonderful techchen and I hope to see you in my next video. Tschüsschen!